Welcome back guys, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial video, I will show you guys how I created this infographic poster design in Adobe Illustrator. Before we start, let's look into our sponsorship message first. Today's tutorial is brought to you by Visme. Visme is an online tool which allows designers and non-designers to create simple graphics to fully interactive visual experiences. With easy to use user interface and with thousands of templates which are specifically designed for business needs, even the non-designers can create design beyond an average designers or content creators. Since Visway is an online platform, you don't need to worry about installing softwares into your computer or compatible issues. You can design, share or store all your design works all in one place. If you are a startup or want to create your own branding with the branded templates, all you need to do is enter your company data and logo. Vismis AI will give you a full branding package for you within two minutes. All your design works can be downloaded as image formats, presentation format, or even video formats. Check out Visme today. Link is under the description below. All right, guys. So before we go into the design work, I want to give you guys the exact details of this poster design. But if you guys only want to see the design work, you can go to the timestamp on the screen in here. So basically, if you are a designer, before you start designing anything, you need to know the final output where your poster or any design is going to be. If it's going to be a print document, you need to create the exact sizes and the color modes to fit into that particular print design. And for the digital design also, same, you need to know the final artwork where your poster design is going to be so that we can keep the proper aspect ratio as well as the color profiles. So this poster which I'm going to design is going to be displayed in a screen. It's a 4K vertical screen. So they are going to show that horizontally on a 4K screen. So we already know the output is going to be a digital design. So it's going to be RGB colors and we already know the size. Okay, so this is the information we need to know to create the document size. And for the design wise, this company is going to sell organic foods. So the main message they want us to show in this poster is the calories and the price. So basically they have the healthiest food with a affordable price. Based on this information, I have come up with a design, which I'm going to design in this tutorial. This is not a complicated design, very straightforward design. Just show the calories and the price and below we put the complete calories and the price. That's it. All right. Simple, right? But the colors and the look and feel, we will keep it to give a feeling as an organic food. Okay. That's all we are going to do. Now, let's get started. I'm going to create a new document. As I said, this is going to be 4K vertical display. So 4K vertical and OK. Now let's start from the background layer. I will go to layers and change this layer name to background. And I want to have a background color for this poster. So I will go to the rectangle and draw a rectangle to cover the entire artboard. We will change this color to a organic color, something like a beige color. Let's divide the artwork into three parts. Top and bottom, we are going to have the text and in the center, in the middle, we are going to have the information. Again, I will use the rectangle to draw the top and bottom and let's change them to black color. And for the middle one, I will have little bit darker tone from the beige rectangle behind. I want to have a texture for the center part to give an organic look. So I will make a copy from this rectangle and I will make another copy from this rectangle as well. And for this rectangle, I will change the color to dark gray and go to filters. Inside Photoshop filters, filter gallery, I will apply a grain effect. Now select this grain rectangle and make a cut, Control X and select the other rectangle and go to transparency and make a mask. Paste the grain rectangle inside the mask and adjust and cover the entire rectangle like this. 
we can select the shape and make it a little bit darker as well and bring it to the middle rectangle in the artboard and place it in the exact place as the background rectangle now you guys can see we have a green effect on top of the rectangle and you guys can adjust the color as well to make the green even more pop up i'm going to change the blending mode to multiple and finally for the background design i will select these corners not all corners some of these edges and make them as rounded corners for now later we can adjust the artworks inside for now i will stick to this roundness all right so now the background design has been done let's move on to the infographic we going to create a new layer and name this one as put and let's start from top we're going to start from the bread and for this i'm going to use the pen tool first step is getting the basic shape so i will use the pen tool and get a rough red shape like this in here now using the direct selection tool we can make it better bread shape now i can use the pen tool to create the depth of this bread as well to create a 3d look and again we can use the direct selection tool and make the bread more realistic we have some extra portions in the background layer and the top layer so i'm going to select all of them and going to use the shape builder tool and make it into two pieces now let's apply colors for the bread for the top part and again i'm going to stick to the organic colors and organic look i will apply this beige color and let's add in a couple of more colors inside the bread and also for the side of the bread let's make it a little bit darker i want to have this organic look to this bread so i will stick to this design and for this design style i want to have lines visible lines with different strokes different stroke sizes and also lines based on lights and shadows so let's do that in here as well for this i'm going to use a stroke profile make it as more organic lines i don't want it to be more realistic and also i don't want it to be more flat either i want somewhere in between which will give that organic look i'm looking for all right so let's add in some shadows for the 3d depth for this i'm going to use some lines and use the pathfinder to cut it and change these colors for the shadows okay now i'm going to select the pencil and using the pencil i will draw these additional lines in here for these darker areas as well as other areas as well just randomly placing some lines in here and in the stroke settings i will bring it a little bit thinner and apply a stroke profile now based on this i will draw more lines and cover the entire bread like this make sure after you guys done to apply the stroke profile again i'm going to do the same for the top part as well first let's change the stroke color and now again select pencil and draw some short lines like this on top of the bread in here i'm following a circular motion instead of placing them randomly so it will give a more realistic look and again for these lines also let's apply a stroke profile and we can edit the opacity as well and to have different variation i will randomly select these and apply different stroke and different opacities all right so this look more like a bread slice now now i can select all of them and make it as a group and then we can place it in the correct place and also if you want you can adjust the angle a bit as well all right guys so now we have a clear design path and a design style for this artwork so based on this bread and the background we are going to continue to draw other food items in here but the style is very clear so we are going to stick to this style and going to complete this artwork all right so the next step i'm going to make a copy from this bread for the bottom portion alt and drag and just place it in here next we are going to draw the sprouts it's going to be pretty easy again i'm going to select the pencil tool and double click to open pencil settings and for the fidelity make it 100 percent smooth so our lines will be very smooth and i will draw some curvy lines like this all right just draw many as possible don't worry i think this is good enough now i will make the stroke size thicker 
and also apply the stroke profile and we can change the stroke color to look like an organic sprout and again i will go to the object and expand everything and go back to the stroke and apply a stroke again this time a dark stroke for the lines now we can increase the stroke width and apply a stroke profile which is same as the previous one all right next i'm going to draw the beans for this also i'm going to use the pencil before we draw let's set up the pencil for this i want to increase the pixels for the close path when the pixels are close by let's make it like 50 pixels so that when we draw a circle it will automatically close okay now i'm going to draw some circle looking shapes but i don't want it to be perfect circles something like beans is fine all right and let's apply a fill color and stroke for this so we are going to stick to this design and i will make more beans shapes like this in here and we can get the colors from here all right last thing for the sprouts i will have some lines like this to, to go with our design style okay now we can make it as a group and bring it to the correct place like this and send it behind because our breath must be on top next is avocado for this one also i'm going to follow the same steps like the one we did in the bread so i will use the pen tool and draw the basic shape first i will draw each sides separately and then we will use the direct selection tool and make it perfect i will draw the line layer in a separate layer and we can apply the stroke profile to go with our design style and then we can use the pen tool to draw the other side i'm following the same steps as earlier we can use the shape builder tool and delete the additional areas and then we can use the direct selection tool and edit the shape and apply the proper colors and the outline to go with our design style and then i will choose the pencil tool again and apply the lines which is similar to the lines on the bread but this time i will apply it to the 3d depth side so it will have the same look and feel as the rest of the artwork and finally for this avocado i will draw one more color layer on top to have another variation and also give that same similar look like the bread on top all right so let's draw one more piece of avocado it's going to be the same thing i will use the pen tool and draw the basic shape first start with the front top side and then we will add in the depth and again we can use the direct selection tool and edit the shape to make it a little bit more realistic and of course we apply the colors and also the lines to go with the other shapes in here finally i will make it as a group and then i will make a copy from this shape rotate and change the angle send it backwards and place it in here now we can bring all of them and place them in here all right next is lettuce this one also going to be similar to the previous one i'm going to use the pen tool first i will draw the front portion the top portion and then i will draw the portions behind which you see through from behind and then apply colors one light color for the front top portion and a darker tone for the portion behind because of the shadow let's have a couple of more behind areas in here as well and apply the color i will use the shape builder tool and delete the extra portions and then i will copy another layer for this one i don't need a stroke for the new layer i will just place on top for this i will apply only the stroke and using the cut tool i will cut it into pieces since we have applied a stroke profile it will divide it into these pieces and will look like organic lines i will repeat the same steps for the parts behind copy and paste on top add a stroke and add a stroke profile and delete the portions which you don't need we can adjust the angle if you need to i think this is good enough next step is drawing the veins for this one again i'm going to use the pencil which is the easiest method 
try to keep it in the same direction and draw the veins like this. If you keep it in the same direction, we can apply the stroke profile for all of them together. Now let's apply the stroke profile and make the thickness a bit thicker and you guys can adjust this based on the veins. For the center one we will choose a different stroke profile. Alright, now same as other shapes. For this leaf also I will apply more variations of colors using the pen tool. Now let's make a couple of copies of these letters and use the mirror tool and change them the angle and mirror them and place it in here so we will have a couple of more leaves like this to go with our design finally for the letters uh, i will choose these randomly and apply little bit different colors so that we will have some randomness in the letters rather than everything looks the same and then we will draw these lines same as other vegetables and apply the stroke profile to stick to the original design style right so the next vegetable is tomato before that let's arrange this properly bring this to the front and let's place it in here all right for the tomato also it's going to be really simple use the pen tool and draw the shape like this the base shape and i will draw the depth and then we apply proper colors and for the inside part i will apply a lighter tone and for this I will apply a roughen filter so that the hedges will be like this which will give you guys a realistic look inside tomato and again i will continue to use the pen tool and draw the inside part like this and for them also i will apply the roughen filter for the stroke lines i will copy a new shape deselect strokes for these shapes and for the new shapes i will apply the stroke profile similar to others and delete unnecessary part i only need the lines in certain places like this to have that organic look all right finally i will use the pencil and draw lines and for this i will apply the stroke profile and apply a lighter color because in here we are going to see the reflections not the shadows finally group all of these objects and make a copy and use the mirror tool to mirror it and place it in this correct place next we have the cheese for the cheese i will draw outside the artboard for this again pen tool and draw the base shape i will draw two shapes in here i want to have both of them as a unique look and then i will draw the shapes in here and cut out these shapes from the original shape now I will make copies and place a little bit higher than the original place to have that 3D depth and we can change the colors for both of them and using the pen tool I will complete this 3D depth and we can use the pathfinder and make it as one object. To keep the same look and feel now I will apply strokes for these edges not for the entire artwork just for certain edges and we will delete the portions which we don't need and in here we can apply the stroke profile finally we can bring them together and using the pen tool i will add in some more lighter colors on top of this cheese to have that similar look as other objects now we can place it in the correct place and move on to the next object which is the ham before that let's align all of these objects a bit a straight line and add some more gap in here ham is going to be very straightforward i will choose the pen tool again and draw the base shape and for the thickness i will use the pen tool again and draw a line and now we can cut these two into two pieces apply proper colors and repeat the same steps one more time for the second piece now using the pen tool again i will draw some lines like this and we will cut these portions from the hem stop portion and we will apply a lighter tone there to give a look and feel of the hem i will repeat the same steps for the bottom piece as well draw some lines cut it using the pathfinder and apply the lighter tone 
All right. And finally, for the head, let's add in the strokes to look similar to the other objects. For this one also, I will use the same techniques I use for the cheese. I will only select the top portion and apply the lines like this for the both pieces. And then finally, let's add in some different colors, different tones on top to have that shiny look similar to other objects. All done, we can adjust the angle and bring it to the correct place. And now let's draw the final step for this hem, which is drawing the lines so that this one will look similar to the ones on top. Let's add in some shininess to this hem also. I'll use the pen tool and draw a couple of shapes in here and apply the same color as the one on the other side. So we will have some shininess for this M shape. All right. Since we only have one vegetable uh, mustard left, let's arrange these properly again. So we only need one gap in here. Now let's start drawing the mustard. This is going to be pretty easy. I'm going to use the pen tool again and I draw a shape like this and we will apply the mustard color. I will draw similar shapes, couple more shapes like that, but I will apply a little bit darker tones for each of them. It's better to have different tones so that we will have a good variation in the final artwork. Now copy and paste all these shapes and for them apply the stroke and the stroke profile. But this one will not have any fill color. And now you can use the direct selection tool and delete the portions which you don't need. We need to have similar organic lines like the one we have drawn in the other shapes. Okay, this look fine. Now I will select the pencil and draw some lines in here to cover the entire artwork. For this, I will apply this darker tone and we can apply the stroke profile like this and bring down the opacity to 40%. All right, now again, I will repeat the same steps again. Using the pencil tool, I will draw some lines. This time I will change the color to lighter tone, similar to the master color, and apply the same stroke profile. And finally, using the pen tool, let's draw some different shapes on top and apply different shades to have that similar look as other objects. Finally, we can bring that to the correct place and place it in here. You can rescale to fit into the artwork. I think this looks perfect. Lastly, I will do the same what I did for him. I will using the pen tool, I will add in a couple of shapes. And for them, I will apply that lighter tone with an opacity, same as the one in here, to get that shininess in here as well. All right, guys, all look perfect. Before we move on to the next step, let's do some touch-ups. First, I will add some highlights. Based on this placement, I need to add some highlight to these uh, areas. So these are basically, I'm using the pen tool and draw these shapes and applying a lighter tone, mainly white color or similar tone as the object and making them as less opaque layer. All right, cool. And then I will add in some shadows for this. Uh, I will draw a box, a rectangle, and apply a gradient. One side 20, 30% opaque, the other side completely zero. So we will gradually get that gradient and place them inside each of these objects, behind each of these objects, each of these foot. And let's place them in all the layers, all the foots. And finally, I'm going to apply a Gaussian blur to each of these layers and then we can adjust the opacity. Now I think this looks good enough. All right, so now we have created our infographic part. Let's add in the text. It's going to be pretty easy. First, I will go to the layers and create a new layer in here also. I want to keep the text information separately. For this, we can name it as text or info, whatever you want. I'm just going to name this one as info. And we have eight different types of food. So we can divide both sides into four and four and have the details both sides here. Let's draw some rectangles as guide and place them in these places. And later on, we can add in the proper 
details inside in here all right i think this spacing is fine and i will select all of them and make them as rounded corners we can't go all the way like the one in the bottom so i will stick to a smaller size and i will adjust other rectangles the larger rectangles in the background to the similar size all right now let's start designing the actual info box for this i'm going to copy this rectangle and for this let's add in the title we are going to start with the bread so i'm going to just type bread in here and apply a proper font for this one and then below we are going to have some details i'm not going to place those details in here i will place them in the final art but for now i'm just going to have some dummy text and in here we will have the calories for that i will draw a circle like this and place it in here for now later on based on the text and the size of the box we can place this in different places all right and in this uh, text box we will have that additional details which we are not going to add in in this final artwork all right so our base box is ready let's add in one more circle inside in here in here we will have the calories later on and lastly i will draw a triangle in here using the pen tool so this is going to be the one pointing that shape later on we can edit them based on the placement of that vegetable all right now i will make a copy of this shape and this time i will mirror it other way around so that we can place these in the other side all right pretty simple now let's place these in the correct places first and later on we can change the colors and the name of these vegetables i'm just placing them in both sides for in one side for in the other side and try to keep the gap similar so we will have additional information below as well now i'm going to use the direct selection tool and edit these arrows to point to the correct object now these uh, info boxes are behind the vegetable layer i will create another layer on top and place these boxes on top of this vegetable layer so i want to have the bottom boxes on top the top boxes behind all right now all we need to do is change the labels i will change the labels to the correct vegetable name and also bring the circles based on the label size i will bring these circles below and place them like this okay i'm just randomly doing this guys there is no proper method for this i'm just randomly placing them it will look nice in the final artwork now we can change the colors of these individual boxes based on the vegetable i'm trying to add a color which is closer to the vegetable colors and also closer to the organic look as well all right this is fine and finally i will add the second set of boxes actually in here i'm going to place the calories in the circles we will place the price these boxes we can uh, have a darker tone of the original boxes or i think the better option would be having that in black color okay first let's draw the boxes then later on we can change the colors and place the calories inside okay now since we have almost done with the main artwork let's create a new layer and in here we are going to have all the main text so this is going to be pretty simple on top we are going to place the how to make and below a perfect sandwich or maybe we can place only the sandwich below and bring down the how to make a bit smaller and perfect and the sandwich will be the prominent letters in here yeah this look better next step let's add in the calories for each of these vegetables and also i will change the background to the black color because the corporate colors of this company is black and i want these main informations to be in black color and also it will go with our entire artwork nicely all right guys we are almost done last part is adding the price for each of these vegetables let's bring this a little bit smaller and then let's just add in the price for each of these items and we are done
for the price i will create another new layer because price is the one which will always change so later on if we have any changes you can easily select that layer and change the price all we need to do is add in the actual price of all of them and we are done all right guys thank you so much for watching that's all about it for today hopefully this tutorial was useful for you see you guys in the next tutorial